I welcome you to today's edition of your program, Help from Above. What man cannot do, God can. There is nothing, no problem, no mountain, no situation that God cannot intervene. So call the family together, call your friends, and call your neighbors and tell them it is time to receive help from above. We have a message from the Lord. Hallelujah. This message unto you will give. Tis recorded in His Word. Hallelujah, it is only that you lose and leave. Eternal Father, you are the giver of life. We celebrate the life that you have given to us. This is the day that you have made. We rejoice and we are glad in today. Thank you for this program. Let it make means, let it mean healing, let it mean deliverance, let it mean redemption. I pray this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I have a message from God that will bless your life today. I'm reading from Luke's Gospel. Chapter number four. Luke chapter four. Universe number 33 says, And in the synagogue there was a man which had a spirit of an unclean devil and cried out with a loud voice, saying, to Jesus, let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace. And come out of him. And when the devil had thrown him in the midst, he came out of him and hurt him not. And they were all amazed and spoke among themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirit, and they came out. This is the message that Jesus has come to destroy the works of Satan. This is the message that when light comes in, darkness must vanish. This is the message that you can have life and have it in abundance. This is the message that life conquers death. I call on you to receive the message of Christ the King. Everywhere he went, he was doing good. He was healing the sick, he cleansed the leper, he fed the hungry, he raised the dead. Everywhere he went, he showed compassion, he showed grace. He brought the message so that the religious leaders of his day couldn't really understand. So every 
everywhere he went, the crowd thronged him because he had the message, the message of hope, the message of healing, the message of blessing, the message that you can live from condemnation and come to justification, the message that God loves you. He is not mad at you. He wants to help you. He wants to save you. He wants to deliver you. This is the message. You know, Jesus came to the synagogue. As his manner was, when he arrived in any city, he showed up in the church. And the Bible says, in that church that day, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean devil. Now listen, the devil is bad in itself. For the Bible to call this one an unclean devil, it means it, it was terrible. And, 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 and it, it was in the church, in the synagogue. When Jesus appeared, suddenly the order of service was disrupted. This man with an unclean devil cried out. He said, hey, Jesus, why are you here? What have I to do with you? We know you. You are the son of God. You are the life giver. We know you have what it takes to dislodge us. Have you come to destroy us? You are the only one of God. And you know, Jesus stopped him. Jesus said, hold your peace. I don't need you to introduce me. I have a message from God to preach deliverance to the captive. Jesus said to the unclean devil, your time is up. You have done your harm enough. You can't proceed further. Jesus said, hold your peace and come out of him. I love Jesus. He didn't say, you know, we will go to your village and dig out what is responsible for this problem. He did not even put the man on seven days fasting. He spoke. He addressed the unclean devil. He said, hold your peace. Don't stop. Stop. Don't introduce me. Don't praise me. I'm here on a mission. And I speak to you today. Whatever had invaded your life, you tried to fight it. You couldn't. You've done all you knew to do. The same Jesus is here today right by you to address every demonic activity, remote controls, spirits that are raised against you. Jesus is master over devils. He said, hold your peace, come out of him. And that was all. And the Bible says, this unclean spirit was angry. He threw the man on the ground. In other words, I can't hold you again, you can go. You know? When a strong man watches over his goose, his house is safe. But when a stronger than him
comes. He conquers the strong man. He captures the household. Jesus is a stronger than the devil. He is a stronger than he. He has the power of his word. When he speaks, every element must obey. Ecclesiastes 8, verse 4 says, Where the word of a king is, there is power. I speak to you today the message of the king. And power is coming to your life. Power is coming to your business. Now, in the name of Jesus. You know, the devil left him. And the man was not hot. What the enemy made for evil, God will turn it for good for you. He cannot hurt you when Jesus is in your life. Now, what followed? The people want God. Ha! What a word is this? Who can speak like this? This is the message of God. It cannot be controverted. It is powerful. As it was spoken years ago. That is how it is today. Freedom can still be gotten. The downs cast can still be lifted. Demons still fly out at his name. What a world is this? And they said, For with authority and power, he commanded the unclean spirit, and they came out. I exercise that authority over every contrary wind in your life, over satanic arrows, mustard at you, demonic operations that are raised against you. Jesus, you know, in an earlier verse of chapter 4 of Luke's gospel, verse number 18, he had declared that the spirit of the Lord was upon him to set the captives free, to let the, the, those that are held in captivity go free. That's what happened to this man. And I declare to you, whatever captivity you are in, they said, bet, they, 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 they said, bet, you, you, will, you will not pass this line. You know, you can't cross this line. They, they said, bet, you will never marry. They, they said, we, we, we swear, we, you, you will never be promoted. You will not amount to anything. Now, every barrier on your way are hereby broken. In the name of Jesus, the Red Sea will part for you. The hills will skip for you. The trees will clap for you when you allow Jesus. Now pray this prayer, very simple prayer after me. Say, my father, I come to you today. I believe your word. I receive your message. I open my heart now and I invite Jesus into my life. Lord Jesus, I receive you. Now address my situation. I claim your freedom. I claim your emancipation now. And I thank you that I am forgiven and I am delivered. I give you the glory. 
in Jesus mighty name amen and amen you know the bible says the angels of heaven are rejoicing just because of a decision you have made to come out of darkness and come into light and i thank god for your life whatever you are at whatever time of the day whatever the crisis now that oppression comes to an end today. That sickness in your body comes to an end today. Now, the spell cast upon you is rendered useless from today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. What a word. Thank you. This is a message from God. Now, let me hear from you. There's power in your testimony. Follow us. Comment. Share us. Tell others. If you live in Benin City, I invite you to join us this Sunday at His Glory of New Covenant Gospel Church in New Benin, Benin City. Just by a double grammar school. Two powerful services every Sunday. The first is 7.30 a.m. And the second is 9.30 a.m. Either of these will be a blessing to you. New Covenant Gospel Church have branches across this nation and around the world. Anyone close to you will be a blessing to you. Now don't stay at home this Sunday. Find yourself in a full gospel church. There is one not too far from you and be a part of the body of Christ and continue to enjoy the benefit of your redemption. Now, this program is sponsored by people who love God. If God moves in your heart, and I pray he knows, Please feel free to support us. Our bank details are on your screen. I'd like to hear from you. Continue to ride high. Continue to fly high. Continue to enjoy your freedom. It is a gift from God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Look at me, my people. So Jesus now and leave this recorded in his word. Hallelujah. It is only that you lose.